So ladies and gentlemen, K to the planet of spirituality is going to enter the nakshatra of Uttar Falguni. And as you know, Uttar Falguni, three-fourths, 75% lies in Virgo and 25%, one-fourth lies in the sign of Leo. So the first pada is in Leo, the remaining three padas are in Virgo. So therefore, today we shall discuss about this for every ascendant. Every Lagna, every rising sign, not moon sign, not Chandarashi, not sun sign, only your ascendant Lagna rising sign. And for every ascendant, we'll discuss what happens when Ketu is in the, the, the Virgo part of Uttar Falguni and then in the Leo part. All right. But before that, we'll discuss a bit on Uttar Falguni Nakshatra and what Ketu could do there in general. And then we'll go to every ascendant. So I would insist you, request you. To first see for every, uh, well, to first see the stuff in general, and then go to your uh, ascendant because that will give you a better understanding. All right, God is there with you all the time. Just look to Him, and you will find Him. And if you are new, then don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel also. And for personalized horoscope consultations, you will find my website down in the description section, and timestamps will also be down below. All right. So, we know, uh, but even before that, we need to go to the dates. So, uh, depending on if you take true nodes or mean nodes. So, if you take uh, mean Ketu, then the date is from uh, 10th of November uh, 2024 to 20th of July 2025. Okay, so around 8 months. And if you take true Ketu, uh, this is 2nd of December 2024 to 6th of July 2025. Okay. So this, these dates are from uh, as per drikpansang.com, uh, New Delhi, uh, India. And you can check it yourself. You can type Ketu Nakshatra Transit, drikpansang.com, 2024, 2025, it will appear. Okay. And these are, there are five most important traits of Uttar Falguni Nakshatra, which we should, should understand. Number one is generosity and support. Okay. So. People with prominent Uttar Falguni are very compassionate. They want to always donate. They want to help others. And they are often very charitable. And number two is they are having high degree of loyalty and commitment. Okay. So they are loyal in relationships, both in personal and professional. And uh, this is a classic hallmark of Uttar Falguni Nakshatra. And number three, they are extremely analytical and intelligent. They are very smart. Okay, so the Virgo influence beings in uh, analytical uh, ability, you know, detail oriented <coughs> mindset and the Leo part brings in responsibility and leadership. And number four, they are extremely independent and confident. Okay, so this is the best part about Uttar Falguni. They can work in teams, but they are also uh, able to work individually. Okay, so the Leo traits will add, you know, self-reliance and natural leadership capacity. And the Virgo traits will add a good team uh, team building, you know, team making. So they are also a great team player. And there is focus on family and relationships. So, and there's a strong focus on uh, building deals, you know, breaking deals, uh, negotiation and contracts. Okay, this is like non-negotiable. And also, uh, you know, family, you know, is like uh, in family also you have to, you know, uh, negotiate sometimes, right, with your family members. So there's a strong emphasis on family values, nurturing and also responsibility. All right. So now we go to the first ascendant, which is Aries. So for Aries, initially Ketu will be in your sixth house in Virgo. Uh, and then Ketu uh, will go to uh, Uttar Falguni again, the first Pada, which is in Leo, which is your fifth house. So in the Virgo portion, uh, the first uh, three fourths uh, of the period, you will see that your health and routine uh, will be on focus okay and Ketu is a fiery Ketu is very fiery actually it's more fiery than Sun and Mars also okay so therefore uh, you may experience issues related to digestion or you know like uh, there could be you know, over stress and uh, there, there could be a need for very strong discipline otherwise you may realize that you are confused in regards to what to do in life okay so therefore Uttar Falguni, as you know, is always uh, related with, you know, like deals, contracts, negotiation, other people. So I think the best thing you can do is to hire a gym trainer or somebody who can actually help you. Okay, so try to take help from somebody else. And there could be work-related conflicts, which you might have to sort out. So again, here also, 
you might be in a team where you know you might have to work together with people okay with your colleagues sixth house is your job okay <clears throat> and uh, you may feel that now i should resolve my conflicts with uh, the people in my team okay so therefore this is a great period for you to uh, build teams build relationships with people in your workplace and take care of your health through the help of somebody else now when it reaches the leo portion you know you may uh, want to indulge a bit more in creativity and love romance and all this you know you might want to marry the person that you love because uttar falguni is all about you know like long term commitments like marriage and you, know, you will find uh, you you will want to find you know more fulfillment more meaning in the relationships and it will help you to uh, look for joy within and also outside okay and you will also want to uh, interact more with children and with different kind of learning for example no uh, and uh, you may sometimes feel that you know your relationship with your children uh, is a bit distant and you know it's not the best so you may try to strike some deal with them okay <laughs> uttar falguni is all about dealing okay so you may want to deal and uh, see how you can you know talk to your children and how you can now uh, have a negotiation or maybe that uh, it might happen that your children are expecting something from you and you are not giving them and and you think that they don't want to make you happy uh, but it's like they want to make you happy but yeah somehow you are you are also not bulging from your side okay so you have to come to a truth there has to be a negotiation with your children okay so therefore go and uh, do spiritual practices uh, and also do creative work by which you know you can bridge the gap and do it with your children you know chant mantras with your children fifth house is chanting on mantra so do it with your children and you will be blessed all right aries take care now we go to taurus so for taurus the first 3 4 uh, uh, period of this uh, transit will be uh, in fifth house where ketu will be then gradually the last 1 fourth will be in virgo in leo okay <clears throat> So sorry the first is in Virgo then uh, the second one is in Leo so fifth house then it goes to fourth house because as you know Ketu is always retrograde so now initially uh, for Virgo the three fourths uh, period when uh, Ketu is in the Uttar Falguni part uh, I mean Virgo part of Uttar Falguni then uh, you will see you know you will want to be uh, very much of an intellectual you know you will want to uh, learn not just cram everything but you will want to actually know why are you doing something so the fifth house shows the purpose so when ketu enters fifth house uh, you may feel uh, that you know uh, you you are not having that purpose you are not uh, you don't know why are you doing something okay so this is very important because when ketu enters fifth house you may feel that your entire life purpose is kind of collapsing okay so therefore uh if you feel that uh, you you do not have life purpose or you lack in that then you might need to read more learn more and you know understand more uh, and trust your vision trust your gut gut feeling okay and of course uttar falgun is about you know marriage also so it could happen that you are wanting to uh, make a long term commitment uh, to your uh, lover about marriage and you know you might try to seek uh, emotional fulfillment and uh, you may try to uh, see deeper meaning in relationships okay this is very important because if if you don't have a deeper vision deeper meaning deeper love deeper commitment deeper respect then uh, this is problem so now when ketu transit uttar falguni uh, and then you may feel that either that commitment is lacking or your spouse may lack that okay your your lover i mean so so it depends what's going on in your chart but you may feel that either you want to go ahead and your spouse your lover does not want or your lover may complain that he or she wants to move but you are not ready to give the commitment okay then the last one by four time uh, of uttar falguni will be in leo as you know now for you leo uh, is the fourth house so you will deal more with you know home and comforts okay so then your focus will shift a bit from you know creativity and you will want to be uh, you will want to look for detachment from your home and you know materialistic comforts okay you will try to find uh, what's the meaning of life okay you will try to find why are you doing something in life and 
you will try to see do you have inner stability okay if not then uh, you will try to find inner stability and family ties might be affected you know especially relationship with your mother uh, or maternal figures uh, and you may feel that the relationship is a bit confusing like you know your mother says something and you understand something so during the leo part uh, of uttar falguni's transit you need to understand that clear communication with your family members is essential and non negotiable if you don't do this you will suffer all right so please understand that you have to whenever the leo transit starts for uh, ketu then you will you will you will have to be assertive at the same time be sensitive okay with your mother and motherly figures so overall this is a great period for you to be more creative interact with your children and with your family members and find your life purpose all right take care taurus <clears throat> now we go to gemini so gemini the first uh, three fourth period as you know ketu will be in your fourth house in virgo and then the last one fourth it will go into your uh, third house in leo so therefore initially in the virgo portion you uh, know where ketu is transiting you will feel you know that you need emotional peace now that's it period you you need emotional peace and emotional peace not just for yourself but it's like saying you want peace for the entire family because now uttar falguni is like no i will de- do deals together i i will i will take everybody together okay so you will not be a person who says okay i'll just you know be happy myself so now you may feel that your own happiness is important but your family's happiness is even more important especially your mother or motherly personalities your maternal side and due to some reason you may suddenly feel that you know your yeah your home life you know is not the best so maybe you need to look for work life balance or you need to do some spiritual practices and see why you are not happy in your uh, mundane life okay otherwise what happens is you will you will end up getting into addictions or you know you'll be a bit depressed and suppressed and messed and you will think what is going on and there might be a tendency in you where uh, you may say no no i want to be uh, having this minimalist lifestyle okay just do whatever is required <clears throat> so therefore uh, minimalism is okay nothing wrong with it but Uh, it should not uh, become insensitivity towards others okay and then the last one fourth of the leo portion of the transit uh, that is in your third house so you will really want to socialize you will want to socialize and communicate but again this is ketu and uttar falguni is again further communication deals acquaintances and all this so these things will increase but because it is ketu you may suddenly feel what is going on you know why am i doing all this socialization why am i uploading photos in instagram whom do i want to pretend okay and you might gradually lose a desire to even uh, go and meet anybody it can happen okay so be aware of this in the last uh, 25% of the transit time and also your relationships with your siblings uh, you may want to set a deal with your sibling okay you may want to plan something with your with your sibling but again it's ketu so the plans may be a bit disrupted okay and you may feel uh, it's not going as per my wish and my desire so maybe i should do something else okay so essentially now your focus should be on communication and in the initial 3 4 periods it should be on you know your uh, learning you know, your emotional peace and uh, family members okay so therefore uh, this is a great period for you to look towards your inner inner psyche because the fourth house is the mind and third house is like you know the subconscious mind third and the 12th okay so therefore if you if you feel that you are not doing good in life maybe the problem is not in your conscious mind it's more in your subconscious mind gemini all right please take care so now we go to cancer so for cancer uh, for three fourth period of this transit ketu in uttar falguni will be in your third house in virgo then the last one fourth will be in second house in leo so virgo portion third house your communication skills uh, will be the top priority and you will want to meet 
many people you know uttar falgun is like very flamboyant you will want to meet this person that person groups acquaintances circles but the problem is because you know it is k2 so you may suddenly uh, out of nowhere you know you may feel that yeah i mean why am i doing all this why the hell am i meeting people you know it does not make sense okay I'm, maybe i'm just wasting my time okay so any time you feel that uh, your circle is getting too bigger than it should be then it is imperative that you cut down on your circle and also you try to find more meaningful connections okay and uh, you may uh, want to also be very courageous and take a lot of new decisions you know uttar falgun is also about uh, decision making okay so but you have to be a bit cautious about your decisions and your actions because uh, ketu's transit in uttar falguni can give you this tendency to uh, make abrupt commitments okay or over promise and under deliver okay so therefore please promise only that which you can deliver otherwise uh, you will cut a sorry face okay and then the leo portion is uh, the last one fourth so uh, which is your second house so second house as you know you know is uh, your net worth your family your uh, your assets you know real estate money everything combined okay so therefore when the leo portion gets activated then you will see that you will start to feel as if you know uh, money is not very important or maybe you know money is important but it is also important to donate okay so you will have this strong urge to donate money and you know like kind of uh, yeah help people more help people within your family you know? so through loans or you know just by helping them monetary or, or you can give guidance or you can offer any kind of help through your contacts to your family members <laughs> now only thing is be careful not to lend too much money to your relatives or friends or family members otherwise you may not get the money back okay and they may try to blackmail you so be a bit careful with that and your family relations might feel a bit distant sometimes for some reason but again uh, it it is distant not because they are bad people or you are you are a crooked person but because there is some unfulfilled expectations okay so you have to clarify so if you if you feel that you know your relationship with your uh mother husband wife brother sister anybody is not the best then try your best to actually go and see how you can help them and in return they will also try their best to help you all right so overall this is a great period or uh, to socialize but uh, also understand that uh, that will come with its own co cost and uh, you will focus on your family but make sure you you are cautious with the amount of money you lend them all right cancer please take care so now we go to leo leo lagna what's going on so the first three fourths of this transit of ketu in uttar falguni will be in your second house in virgo and then the rest one fourth will be in leo which is your lagna first house right so during the virgo portion you will feel that you know uh, your wealth and values are kind of challenged uh, so for example your financial priorities might shift which means uh, suppose you have some money in your bank you may want to put it into the stock market or buy some property or if you have property you might want to sell it and put the money back in your bank or in the stock market there could be some changes with your your know, net worth it might go up and down a bit or you might completely revolutionize the way you are earning money or you are interacting with your family so and this is a period where you might you know kind of adopt a minimalistic lifestyle where you may uh, encourage yourself and also your family members to only buy uh, the things that uh, that you actually require and not just you know spend unnecessarily in luxury now uh, and in like you know lifestyle okay lifestyle upgradation so that is something you might discourage and along with that your communication with your family members should be improved okay by by choice not uh, by chance okay it will not just improve out of nowhere so uttar falguni as you know has to deal with you know negotiations contracts deals so you need to strike a deal with your family members regarding what well that your mahadasha antardasha will tell but you may feel that you know 
some family members are kind of becoming a bit distant from you and you know they are like uh, they are not able to understand what you want to tell them or you are not able to understand they might accuse you of uh, misunderstanding them so either ways you need to understand that they are my family members i have to give time i have to understand them but at the same time i i have to put forward my views my opinions also so it ha it has to be a balance okay the the deal deal must be done <laughs> and then when ketu enters leo uh, the last one fourth part of uttar falguni uh, this will be activated the first pada this will uh, give you a different sense of your uh, self identity because ketu transiting the ascendant can Uh, make you detach from life in general okay so there could be a sense of detachment uh, which could come from ego and uh, there could also be you know pride uh, which could emerge from there now either you could become humble or you could become too proud okay so that will depend on which dasha you are running and you will also encourage like you know self reflection for example you want to know what is going on in your life you you are not just satisfied by just hearing something okay you you really want to know is this your life is this for you uh, are you in charge of your life or not okay and you'll be a bit conscious and cautious about your health and appearance so you may realize that you are you know overthinking you know like man uh, because of over stress related to health uh, you know some health problems can arise okay you uh, and you have to prioritize your self care and uh, when you are talking of self care uttar falguni as you know it has to deal with you know partners and guides also so in case you feel that you are not doing uh, you are not doing very good in terms of your health or your physique or your appearance maybe it's some good time to consult a physician or a ayurvedic doctor or yeah go to some wellness center and you know get help from someone uttar falguni is all about getting help okay so when it's ketu it can deal with uh, things like ayurveda for example or you know naturopathy and all this okay <laughs> so if you feel that normal uh, medical treatment is not yielding results for you then try alternate sources of medicine okay and that will benefit you but at the same time realize that it will take time all right so leo take care don't worry now we go to virgo so initially uh, this transit will be in your first house uh, the first three fourths then the last one fourth the first pada will be in your 12th house in leo right so when the virgo transit is going on so then uh, you will uh, introspect and try to identify who you are this may uh, kind of force you to reflect more on yourself and prioritize your inner uh, growth okay so there could be health concerns which may also require attention and therefore you need to practice balance routines okay balanced balanced diet also is a part of your routine or it should be and you may feel that your life is not where you are where you want it to be or you or where you wanted it to be okay so with ketu it will always happen that you feel something is lacking so either it has to do with your appearance or with your intelligence or with something uh, which you believe in okay your belief systems your ideals you may feel that you need to get more it's not enough and even after getting something you may feel oh this is not what i expected so it's like a very tricky situation where you are not getting something that you want and even if you get it you are like did i want this okay <laughs> so don't worry uh, if this is happening uh, you need to understand that ketu is forcing you to introspect on yourself ketu is forcing you to ask some questions you know like the ascendant shows every area of your life so every single damn area why are you doing something what is going on what is wrong in certain areas okay so if you if you if you look towards these uh, areas then you will get best answers and 
Uttar Falguni, as you know, has to deal with, you know, getting help from somebody. So you, you might approach, you know, career counselor, if your career is in trouble, a marriage counselor, or you might approach a fitness coach or an astrologer or to know what is going on in your life. Okay, so during these periods, it is always uh, recommended that you get help from a mentor, okay, or a guru. And then the last fourth, when uh, Ketu goes into Leo in your 12th house, the first pada of Uttar Falguni, then there will be spirituality and there will be isolation. That's a classic period where uh, you will have experience a very strong pull towards spirituality. Okay. And yeah, this can be a bit tough at times, but please understand. Ketu in the 12th house is uh, the best combination, best indication for moksha actually. Okay. So if you feel that and life is unfair to you, and then you have to understand that, yeah, you might have to let go of certain things, okay? So, if you feel that life is unfair, you know, maybe you have to be a bit detached, okay? So, try to go for spiritual retreats, and because Uttar Falguni has to do with friends, communities, always go together with somebody. Don't go alone. And especially in the 12th house, there could be you know, some hidden fears which you may develop. So, the more you do spiritual practices, the better it is. So, financial caution is advised and uh, you should focus on resolving any subconscious fears. You know, So, for example, if you fear doing certain things, maybe it's a good time to explore them. Okay, Because Ketu is fire and fire shows courage. But most important, do it with a sense of community purpose, okay? Uh, not just tell, not just sitting in your home and meditating. That's fine. Uh, you can do it every day morning, but once a week you should go to a spiritual community. So, during the Leo portion, please go and join a spiritual community. Otherwise, you will feel very miserable, right? Take care, Virgo. Now we go to Libra Lagna. So, for you, initially, Ketu will be in the 12th house in Virgo for the first three-fourth parts of this transit and the last one-fourth, it will be in the 11th house in Leo, okay? So, during the Virgo portion in your 12th house, you will want to seek solitude and spirituality. You will strongly start to feel that life is very different. Life is not what you <laughs> thought it to be. You may feel that Life is sometimes fair to you or not, or life is, you know, life is giving you a raw deal. You may feel like that. But actually what is happening is, you are, uh, you, you may realize that is not happening because you don't have things, but you kind of over desire sometimes, okay. So therefore, if you are feeling, if you are liberal like me, and you are feeling that life is, not doing, not treating you well, then you need to check, did I eat more than I could have digested? Okay. This is something you you need to check because with Uttar Falguni, you may realize, you know, I want to do this, 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 you know, I want to do everything. Okay. I want to be all over the place. But the problem is you can be like that. Nothing wrong with it. Although sometimes you may realize that it's too much. Okay, so if you feel you are overemphasizing on some area of life and you know you are running around people or you know like organizations, money, contracts, deals, negotiations, like you know, trying your hard, trying desperately <laughs> to get something done. Maybe you are very frustrated actually. And then, apart from that, of course, there could be, you know, unplanned expenses. So, exercise caution with finances to avoid unnecessary expenditure. Okay, very, very, very important. And in the Leo portion, in first Pada of Uttar Falguni, the last uh, 25%, your 11th house will be active. Now, A2 transiting 11th house. Interesting. Uh, 11th house is the house of friendship. And Uttar Falguni is all about friends, right? So, it should be good or bad. Well, it's not just good or bad. It is a situation where you may expand your social circle, 
externally but internally you are feeling uh, something is not right you know something feels uh, off the track you know it's like you want to socialize you want to mingle with people but you are wondering is it worth or people are inviting you come and join us come and do this podcast come and join this spiritual community come and join this school college or company but you are reluctant not because you are not uh, confident of the opportunities but you 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 are rethinking uh, if it is worth going there because ketu in the 11th can give you visions about your future now what do i mean by this this means suppose you started doing something 5 uh, years back and now after 5 years you can see see yourself so now if you start something new so you can get the vision before what will happen you know 3 years 5 years down the line so are you ready to go go to that place or go through that so if you are hesitating to take up on some big opportunity because you feel that it's not going to be worth worth it then it's okay you are not alone try your best and you will be able to do something okay so ketu transiting 11th uh, leo uh, it could go either ways okay so if you don't want to mingle then don't if you feel that people are running all over your life then please go and practice some seclusion okay but yes externally you should continue doing your um, continue uh, associating with people and with network circles and it will benefit you but just keep checking the purpose okay if you feel that it's not worth it then you should stop joining that circle all right all the best libra lagna now we go to scorpio scorpio lagna what's going on so the first three fourths now ketu will be in virgo in your 11th house and the last one fourth in uh, the first pada of uttar falguni it will be in leo which is your 10th house right so the virgo portion in your 11th house this will give you some level of detachment from you know uh, superficial friendships you may feel that you know there are too many people running behind you or too many people you are running behind and you may feel oh what is this you know it's not worth it you know i will uh, i better not do it okay but if you feel like that then you are not alone because ketu in the 11th will strip you of all superficial friends okay everybody is there but still you may feel there is nobody not because there is nobody but because the people around you are very superficial so you may develop this quest for developing meaningful relationships and 11th house as you know is you know also friendships and uttar falguni has to do with friendships and marriage and overall success so all the people around you you will be wondering what what the hell am i doing and now because 11th house shows success you may become very successful but ketu may force you to ponder upon things like what did i gain out of this success was it was it worth it okay so you will look for deeper fulfillment and it is recommended you go and donate very important remedy for you then when the leo portion is activated in the last one 25% one fourth then you will see that you will kind of rethink on your career ambitions and you know you will become a bit detached you will realize oh i was running behind career for so many years running 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 like a donkey <laughs> but what happened at the end did i did i get what i wanted oh maybe i got but it was still not enough you may feel that your career is either going in the wrong track or even if it is going in the right track it is not going as per as you wish something will be there okay but you need to understand that uttar falguni is about getting guidance from people who are better than you so contact some authority figure you know your manager or your vice president or your 
yeah, CEO, CWO, anybody who can help you. And then they will help you to kind of, you know, get a good, uh, get 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 a couple of good milestones for your career. What, what should you do now after three years, five years, ten years, you know? A good roadmap will be given, okay? So ask for help from your colleagues, your superiors, and you will see that you are benefiting. You are benefiting phenomenally, okay? So essentially, for Scorpio, this transit will be a combination of the 11th house and part partly the 10th house. So it will be related to profession and success in other areas. All right, Scorpio, please take care. Now we go to Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Ketu will be first in Virgo in uh, your 10th house for three-fourths in Uttar Falguni uh, and then the first Pada of Uttar Falguni as you know is in Leo which is your ninth house okay so the Virgo portion is your 10th house so your career and your public life name fame power position authority so that is something which you will aggressively run behind you will be like oh let me contact this person that person you know he will help me she will help me and after running for six months, you will realize, what the hell did I just do? Uh, I mean, uh, maybe you got results, but it was not fulfilling because your motivations were not correct. Okay. So, wherever Ketu transits, you will have to develop selflessness there. Otherwise, you may feel, oh, this is not appropriate. Okay. This should, this is not good, actually. It is not good to be too selfish. So, Try to bring some level of selflessness into your job. Of course, that does not mean you work for free. But ask yourself, why are you doing this job? Is it just because, you know, society will tell good things about you? You will get some praise, some likes in YouTube. <laughs> Don't forget to like this video, by the way. <laughs> or, uh, or is it just, you know, that you have low self-esteem and you are trying to compensate for that, okay? So, you will have to reevaluate your career to assure that it aligns with your internal values. Otherwise, what will happen is, you will start to feel that everything is just going, but it's gone. Okay. So, work hard on your profession. Nothing wrong, but uh, also reevaluate your goals. Okay. And this is the best time if you want to start your own business or something like that. So check your motivations and if you have the right motivations, then you should go and actually uh, start your own business, you know, uh, or, you know, some alternate YouTube channel, whatever it is. Okay. So do focus on your life purpose. That will be the best. Okay. And as you know, Uttar Falguni has to deal with, uh, you know, deals, contracts, negotiations. So if you feel that, um, you are not doing the best in your profession, please uh, consult your senior or you know your, some career counselor or some astrologer or somebody in your family who is doing good in their profession <coughs> and you will be able to do much better, okay? And in the last one-fourth when the Leo portion is active, your ninth house is active, so it's a time for spiritual exploration and uh, asking yourself, what is all that matters for me? What do you value in life? What is important for you? And that question may force you to ask yourself another question. What do what do I actually value? What did what did I value and what do I value now? So it might happen that three years back you valued something else and now you are valuing something completely different. Ninth house is all about value. And because of Ketu being present in the ninth, you may want to aggressively, you know, seek guidance from a guru and, yeah, get knowledge from the scriptures. So, during that period, it is imperative that you have mentorship. Otherwise, you will feel that your life is not going anywhere. I mean, you, you are doing everything, but Nothing is happening. I mean, you are achieving goals one after the other and then you are like, okay, what the hell? 
I'm running since last 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. Nothing is happening. So please try to join some spiritual community where you can find the association of great personalities, you know, sadhus. And there you will actually get a chance to become enlightened. Okay, Enlightenment is a long process, of course. It will not happen just by going to a spiritual community. That's stage one, okay. <laughs> but it is un uh, very important that you uh, you understand you have to take the first step towards uh, becoming spiritual, right? So focus on your life purpose, your mission, your profession, but at the same time, don't forget to do spiritual practices. Sagittarius, all the best. Okay. okay. Now we go to Capricorn. So Ketu first for the three fourth period will be in Virgo in your ninth house, and then the last one fourth which is the first Pada of Uttar Falguni, will be in your 8th house in Leo. Okay. So, Capricorn. What should I say? <laughs> time for, uh, time for cleaning your house, right? <laughs> but my house is already clean. What do I need to clean? It's not your, the house of your, uh, it's not, the house where your body resides, the house where your mind resides, it's okay. It's time to clean that house. It's time to clean your mind, basically. Or oh, how Capricorn. Ketu in the ninth house. Fantastic transit. Brilliant transit. You know, this will foster introspection, align you to uh, question your existing beliefs and uh, seek the truth. And you will want to do inner journeys, okay. Inner journeys. Discover yourself. Have you tried discovering? <laughs> it's painful, right? Because there are not much good things about us to discover, right? <laughs> Anytime go and try to meditate, what happens? You know, Close your eyes and try to meditate or chant some mantra. Ah! What is going on? I don't have this, that, this, that. <laughs> Most of our thoughts are related to our deficiencies, right? Very rarely it will happen. Oh, this is going to happen. And oh, wow. And that too, even if that is there, it is more in the anticipation. Okay? Rather than, you know, enjoying that if it happens. And after it happens, you're like, oh, yeah, that's okay. What's next? <laughs> <clears throat> so, now, after that, it will move to Leo, which is your 8th house. This is a tricky transit, okay? The last one fourth. So, this will be a period of transformation, where you may completely transform yourself. And you may be like, no, that's it. Enough is enough. I, I need to change my habits. So, Capricorn. During the Leo portion, if you have any habits which which are dragging you down, then you need to control and give up those habits. Very, very, very important. It is imperative you do it. So if you have you know bad habits like drinking, smoking, um, eating meat, or you know watching adult material in the internet, or indulging in uh, illicit sexual activity. It's trouble, okay. So, try your best to control your uh, vices, the sins actually, okay. And uh, gambling and uh, intoxication, drugs, all these are also included. So, why did I say clean your mind? It's time to, because now when Ketu enters, you know, your ninth and eighth in Uttar Falguni, you may realize that lot of, pro lot of, lot of these problems that you are seeing, they are actually coming from your friend circle. Because Uttar Falguni has to do with friends. So now you will be forced to cut down your friend circle. Now, you may not cut down your friend circle by 90%. It may be like, you know, you have five good friends and among that one, that crooked criminal friend who is, you know, uh, yeah, who is the cause of all these bad habits. So, you may uh, get rid of that friend. Okay, very, very, very important, and you should do it. Otherwise, it will be a nightmare for you. Okay. So, 
you need to understand that now is the time you will have to you will have you have there is no other option other than controlling the mind so do spiritual practices do austerities do some do penance you know sadhana you know try to fast try to you know eat two times a day and, uh, try to eat one time a day for one day at least you know in a week you know try to abstain from all the wrong things that we have discussed and most importantly uttar falguni circles you know if you are doing meditation for two hours every day and in uh, friday evening you are going and you know having a good time in that circle it's all gone okay so please take care of yourself and improve your mind all right capricorn wish you all the best now we go to aquarius what is going on with aquarius so the first 75% is in virgo which is your eighth house then the remaining 25% period is in the first pada of uttar falguni which is leo which is your seventh house right so what is eighth house eighth house will deal with you know transformation mysticism and this transit will depend your interest in occult sciences and hidden knowledge pursuing you uh, yeah which will help you to pursue you know excellence so you might get some certification for astrology or you might be very much interested in the stock market also but it's not rahu it's not just interest it's not as simple it is ketu and that uttar falguni so you might be developing these interests because you want to experience some very deep transformation in your life you know you want to experience radical change in your life that is why you want to go through these transformations it's not you know that okay yeah you know like i just want to have fun no it's not that okay i mean it's certainly not fun it's like you want to know yourself you want to you want to find yourself you want to know yourself you want to understand yourself to the best of capacity and because of that you are going and you are going and transforming yourself and joint finances could be an issue so any issue to any matter related to joint finances could be a matter of caution and it is always good to address you know financial dependencies especially uttar falguni has to deal with you know contracts deals negotiations other people so if you have joint assets you know with your spouse or with your parents or with your children there could be some issues there you need to be careful with that and you might suddenly get a desire to break off and you know be independent okay and then mm -hmm. of course the leo portion last 1/4 is in your 7th house so now ketu transiting 7th house how is it is it good bad good bad good bad well it depends on your mahadasha antardasha for your marriage 7th house as you know is the house of marriage <coughs> relationships business partnerships and uttar falguni is all about marriages right so it should be good ideally well may or may not be but what should you do this is more important because good or bad will all all, all already happen it will always happen to depending on your dashas anyways okay but what should be your attitude so your attitude should be i should be detached in relationships because when ketu transits the 7th my god if you are attached to your spouse your spouse will say things which you will <laughs> which you will not be able to forget for decades or maybe for your lifetime so be prepared to hear things from your spouse which you never expected okay and now you may be a bit too concerned about you know people's perceptions about you like you know what are people thinking about me why are they thinking like this is this good is this bad and you will want to focus more on balance in relationships and you might reevaluate you know so for example if you have a business partnership 
you may now reevaluate the terms and conditions again and if you do this you will realize you are able to actually um, understand how life is going okay otherwise what will happen is you will feel that you are just maintaining all these relationships out of formality of course many people do that in india especially but see there's nothing wrong in maintaining a relationship with with somebody you know, out of formality that's okay you might do it but you also should find some meaning so ketu will force you to find meaning in relationships and not just your spouse it could be anybody it could be with your brother sister uh, sibling uh, children anybody absolutely anybody so if you are not feeling any purpose with your relationships then try to spiritualize it you know for example with your spouse if you feel there is distance then try to go to a spiritual community and do some seva together to go, go to some satsang program and you hear about spiritual stuff you hear about sita ram lakshman hanuman you hear about you know, the pandavas you hear about krishna rukmini then you will find meaning then you will know how ideal human being how ideal couple should be all right so aquarius time to take control over your relationships now all right all the best last but not the least we go to pisces so for pisces initially the first 75% three fourths ketu will be in virgo in uttar phalguni uh, but in your seventh house and then the leo part last 25% one fourth will be in your sixth house okay so now this is a tricky transit why do i say this because initially ketu is in seventh so what does ketu do in the seventh it will it will bring a sense of detachment in relationships and it will force you to be selfless it will force you to ask yourself why am i doing something is this legit do i need to maintain this relationship or you might uh, you might you may find yourself seeking more space you know or a deeper understanding within partnerships very important and regarding marriage this is a great time to introspect your married life okay oh i'm married from last 20 years right mm -hmm. last 6 months okay but you know there's a joke like there was uh, one lady uh, <laughs> asking the husband how many years are we happily married and the husband answers like i am happily married for 2 years right and the lady is like outraged she said what we are married since the last 13 years why do you say we are only happy uh, for for 2 years then the man said well we are married for 13 but happy only for 2 <laughs> so ketu in the 7th uh, house transit in uttar phalguni can force you to reevaluate your marriage what the hell is going on why are there problems is there some fundamental element of communication missing within the marriage is there some serious is there something serious which we need to do and improve or with your business partners you may renegotiate the terms okay why do i say this because afterwards the last one fourth as you know is the leo portion in your sixth house okay so when the ketu transits the sixth house you will get a sense of detachment from your daily work also so so imagine first you are a bit detached from your spouse now your daily work what the hell is this right so you may feel less inclined to engage in competition and you know fights quarrels legal battles and you know you might want to do more selfless service more seva and more spiritual growth and health and wellness could be important okay your health may need some extra attention uh, especially related to stress you know or digestion there could be some issues with your liver also at times and you might need to cultivate discipline and routines that actually bring you inner peace and physical well being so do some pranayam go to the gym or do some yoga surya namaskar or do some jogging or do some aerobic exercises at least if you cannot do any of the other 
and there could be conflicts which arise where you might need diplomacy and Uttar Falguni is all about diplomacy, right? So, in short, this is a period where you might approach uh, disputes with diplomacy and avoid unnecessary ar arguments, okay? So, if there are problems with people, you will try to make peace and sort it, settle the deal in a peaceful way, in a non-ego driven way. Because you realize time is finite. You are losing your time and the other party is also losing time. Okay. So, if you have problems with people, 7th house, 6th house, 7th house shows people, 6th house shows disputes, then you try to resolve it amicably and not screw it up further. Alright. So, take care of relationships and your health. Pisces. Thank you so much. Please take care. Jai Siya Ram.